decided to join the train. <laughs> My sister. Her, Hi, everybody. Carolina. And then, of course, her son, Nathaniel. Say hi. Where? The camera. <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. We in Sri Lanka, and man, man, if you can see, I'm sweating. It's hot, hot. But we're gonna go try to see the. What we're trying to do today? We're trying to see the church. Let me see even the name. It's written in the. It's written in their language, so I'm sorry, I can't tell you what it is. But, and then we're gonna try to go to a Buddhist temple, I believe it's called a Anguru Kara Mula Temple. I think I said it right. But anyway, so we're gonna walk around, get a tuk-tuk, and get a chance to see what's around us. I can't understand anything that he's saying, but the way they write their language is just phenomenal. All right, guys, as we was leaving the church, we had a gentleman who came out and um, instructed us that we was able to go inside the church. It's very beautiful in there. Um, the church is uh, 120 years old. Um, they actually doing some new modeling on the church now. But, um, it's called St. Mary's. It's called St. Mary's. It's a very nice church. It's actually right across the way from where we were staying, staying, from where we were staying at. And we decided to just go walk on and kind of just do a little bit exploring today and this is one of our first stops this beautiful church a quick break to talk about our sponsor for this video massage diamond dre and i love to walk as we explore the world especially now being in asia we get a chance to get a massage since it's so accessible after a massage we feel so rejuvenated and we're ready to hit these streets and start exploring again Massage Diamond is a registered company that caters to business professionals. The service allows for businesses to provide its employees with stress relief and body aches while boosting work productivity. The employees get a chance to unwind and relax. Individual attention to customize each experience to the client's preference is number one. Massage Diamond caters to businesses, group gatherings, events. The best way to contact Massage Diamond will have all the information in the description below. But right now, back to the video. But yeah, so far it has been pretty cool. sculptures are very big and like like 3d pretty much that's what it is it's so in front of your face it's amazing all 
Sorry, guys. We're in the in inside now. All the beautiful artwork. Oh, it's the store? Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. This one is number one. Mm. And then make that in a circle. Oh, the story. Thank you. Leaving the palace, on the day his son was born, he's having a last look at his beloved wife. Okay, guys, whenever you come in, they would give you a nice little packlet and they have each stages in there for you as you're walking through, which I will show you guys the packlet but they have like the little numbers and stuff everywhere labeled and you just read each little story. story as you're going through and seeing the beautiful artwork. This is number nine, Preaching in Heaven. Preaching in Heaven after the death of Buddha's mother, she was born in heaven. The Buddha is preaching his philosophy to his mother and other gods in heaven. much being able to go inside you got a chance to learn about the buddhist monastery and actually we ended up learning that there's usually they believe there's 10 stages in a buddhist life and then um they believe that there's been 28 previous buddhists and there was also having us learn about the 10 perfections in buddha's previous lives it was very fascinating at least considering i really didn't know much about buddhism you know so it was actually very interesting and i really liked the, the touch of the book because you get a chance to actually follow along with the story and just kind of understand and it's always good to understand new things you know so it was very interesting all right guys so we got done with the little with the uh buddha tour and um right now we're gonna go ahead and look for something to eat around town we found one restaurant on google it was about like 10 minutes away from us, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into another tutu and head on over there. See you guys there. On our way to the restaurant, guys. Um, he didn't know the exact restaurant, but he knew the street, so we're just gonna go from there. found our little restaurant we actually passed it up on our way here but we found it and one of the big things whenever you out here is ac like it's so big they even put it on their like advertising boards for like different restaurants and stuff i'm gonna show you guys so yeah this is the restaurant we're gonna go eat at and you see the guys ac wow Wi-Fi. Funny enough, the Wi-Fi don't even feel that impressive. I know. AC is the only thing that sounds impressive. You're not lying about that. No AC, no go, huh? <laughs> okay, guys, the beach is literally right next to the restaurant, restaurant, like I was saying earlier. So we just got done from eating. And that, ex yeah, that experience wasn't the best. So we didn't even really record much in there. Because, um, food shortage. You could tell food well, yeah, the food shortage and everything that's going on and stuff. And then Carolina, everywhere we go, she always finds hair in her food, so you know <laughs> that'd be another problem. But yeah, so now we're on the beach, and we're gonna go ahead and walk around the beach and kind of see what it looked like. But, um, yeah, you guys come along with us. Well. <laughs> It was just, my dad we just said we're just gonna go outside. And then it just worked out perfectly because we just been to the, the Christian church, St. Mary's, went to the Buddhist temple, had a nice spot over here by the food. Found ourselves at the beach. We did not expect to go to the beach today. So, we're excited, we enjoy a day of exploring. Just pretty much been running around the whole town. But in that case, we'll see you on the next one.